So um, this is the video where we do a task user and then we have an issue we have to fix that I'll show you but let's uh, finish this one first. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 7, 8, 9. So that, those are 9 fields. I remember I know that this is user task. It was arranged wrongly by me. It was my mistake in the previous video. So I'll rearrange it. Um, so it's supposed to be task user because in Laravel uh, when you are um, arranging a table that is a join table you try and make them um, in alphabetical order for instance T comes before you so it should be task user so um, once you are dealing with two tables and you want to join them as a join table you make the one that comes first in the alphabet to come first alright so um, we counted nine fields, so I'm just gonna do nine here. Nine field, hit enter. So the first field is ID, and uh, that is ID. And um, we can look at other fields. We have user ID, task ID, reward points. Um, that's user ID. User ID. We have task ID, ID, we have reward points, and what else? Reward points, then we have proof and status. We have proof, proof, and we have status. And then we have um, created that. Deleted at, updated at, sorry, updated at. So this created at and updated at are, uh, are contained in the timestamps, but then uh, we need soft deletes. So the soft delete will be deleted at. So um, as usual, it's gonna be press D, 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 enter. Press D. D, 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 enter. D, 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 enter. Status, uh, what type? The status is an integer and has a default of 0. It's an integer, so we'll put 11 here and have a default of, um, as defined, put 0. Then the proof, the proof is a string, um, okay, that can be nullable. The proof can be nullable, so I'm selecting this. It can be null and it's a string, so it's variable character. Press V, variable character, hit enter, then put 255. So um, I would have felt uh, on, uh, honestly that the proof should be a text. That's a text area. Do you understand what I'm saying? You will see the reason why later because at the end of the day the proof can be a url by somebody or it can be a picture or whatever else or a write-up so um that's why it, it doesn't just have to be 255 so i'm gonna remove this and the reward points is integer put 11 task id is integer put 11 and the user id is integer 11 and then 11. now um what the next thing we're supposed to do is to confirm if there are any other nullable fields. Do we have any other empty fields? So this is reward points is supposed to be zero by default. So we're just gonna do reward points um, should be zero as defined. We'll give it a zero. All right, so um, the ID is auto increment. Look at it, ID here says increment. So we're just gonna come here and do an ID oh sorry it's not gonna be null um, we have to pull to the right a little so you can see so here you see here is auto increment it will give you this pop-up you say okay all right we've constructed the table click okay, save so now it has saved and um, we now have a table called task user with all these fields now the next thing we need to do is to actually change this to user task. 
so we'll call it um sorry task user task underscore user and then we're gonna change that name here to task underscore user table and uh, we're gonna have to rename this instead of create user task we'll say create task user so click here so we are basically essentially correcting the mistake we made the other time hit enter and all our sins have been wiped away so i'll see you guys in the next video where we'll continue with generating the pages uh, required